Hello everyone. So in order to complete from where I stopped in the game series, I'm going to get back a little bit in time just to talk about the previous videos and what has been published in this series so far. Initially, I have created three videos and I only covered the setup and configuration part for GAM. So now I'm going to show you the examples and the scenarios that you can use GAM for in your admin console and in, in your organization. So starting from this video, I'm going with some examples and some samples that I have used before and cases that happened to me, plus some new cases that I think that will be helpful for you in the future or currently needing to know about those scenarios and situations. So for this video, I'm starting with the password topic since it's a very common aspect of every system and I'm, 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 I'm hundred percent sure that no one of us IT professionals had never had to reset a password for any user before. So every one of us had did this and every one of us is going to do it and is still doing, I think. So the passwords are something simple, something very quick to do. And with GAM, I think you will be able to do it very quickly even. So I have three things that I want to talk about. First of all, I'm going to work with a user called testing user 01, which is actually in the testing admin console that I have here. Then I'm going to do two activities on this user. First of all, I want to reset his password. Then I'm going to set the password change or next login attribute to on. It means that I want to force him to change his password at the next login. And finally, before ending this video, I'm just going to mention a little tip that will help you a lot in setting up a password life cycle in your organization using GAM. Although it might be a simple life cycle, but still it is a good thing to have. So to start, the syntax for the command that we want to use is found in the wiki page of GAM on the GitHub website. So the command is basically gam update user and then you type the email address for the user and then you see all of these commands that we can use. So out of all of these commands, I'm going to choose two commands. The first one is the password. The second one is the change password. And obviously the password is the one to set the password for the user. The change password is the one to force the user to change the password on the next login or disable that request. So going to our command prompt, the command as indicated is gam, then update user, then the email address, which is tuser01. Now you have the option to type the full email address in here, or you can just type the part that is before at. However, if you have a multi-domain admin console, and you have users that might have the same address. So it's good that you type the full email address in this case. So, you know, at least you don't get GAM, like, you know, giving you an error message that I don't know what user to work on because you might have a user like tuser01 at domain one and then tuser02 or tuser01 at domain two. So the part before the at is similar, however, the domain is different. In this case, you have to mention the full email address for GAM to be able to know on what user you need to do the change. So for my case, it's only a single domain, you know, so you can just keep it like this. And then the password is going to be, I don't know, maybe something very basic like, now note the single quotation marks around the password string. This is to make sure the, the, the shell, the command window does not think that the custom characters or the special characters in here are something part of the command. Instead, it will be parsed as the password string. You know, this might be an issue in Linux based operating systems. However, we are in Windows, obviously. So pressing enter, it will change the password for this user and we can verify the change on the admin console using the audit logs. So going to the admin console, you see the first entry in this log, the password change and password changed for tuser01. 
and by the super administrator wizard that I'm using for GAM. So this has been done. Now to move to the second activity or the last activity for this user, which is to force the user to change his password on the next login. And for this, we have to set the value for change password to on. However, before doing that, I need to confirm that the flag for this user is set to off currently. So I can show you the change once I do the command. So going back to the user profile, then opening the security card for this user, you see that required change password is off. This is what we want. So the, the syntax for that command is basically similar to what we had before, except instead of typing the password, we will type change password. So this is the command again, and I'm going to delete this whole thing. Change password, and I'm going to make it on. So once I press enter, that value is going to be updated for this user. And to verify that, let's refresh the user page. You see now that it has been changed to on. One final thing about the password update command is you can actually combine both activities. So you can combine the change password and the setting password as well. So to do that, I'm going to pick any one of these commands. Let's pick up this one. And let's add after this the change password attribute. Since that is on right now, I'm going to make it off and I'm going to apply the command again. Now to verify the change, let's refresh. And you see that has been set to off, which is what we want exactly. So that's it. This is how to manage the user's passwords in GAM and in G Suite. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, there is a way you can use to build a simple password lifecycle in your organization through GAM. You'll simply make a scheduled task that is going to invoke GAM two times. The first time is to retrieve all the users from your admin console and store them in a local text file. Then it will run GAM again to set the change password flag to on for all of the retrieved users. You can actually make this as a scheduled task. You would choose to run on specific times. For example, each one month or two months or whatever period that is required by your organization or company compliance rules. There is a link in the video description for the full details on how to set up this password lifecycle on my blog. Please check that out if you are interested. And finally, please do not hesitate to leave any comment or question in the comments section. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe as well. Also check out my G Suite Administrator course on Udemy. I have some preview videos on the channel here and you can get it for $9.99 and get access to all of the content and the materials that come with it if you go through the link that is posted in the video description as well. So I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.